What is up JVs? Real quickly, I want to make a demo video of the QuickList system so you can see exactly how this thing works. Pretty excited about it. Um, it's easy, super simple to use, and I think that's what your user base is going to love about it. So right here is where you're going to see your analytics, including what checklist, these interactive digital checklists that you build, uh, will be here. Now you can start from scratch by clicking here, or you can use our pre-made templates. Our front end comes with 10 templates, and then uh, we have options to join the template club, or your users can even downgrade to 25 pre-made templates. But this is where they'll find them. So if I wanted to create a new one, I would create it here. Now before I do that, I want to show you what's on the left. So we have all your checklist, we have your integrations. Let me show you what's in the integrations area real quickly. And you can integrate over here on the right with, uh, you would name it, and then you would figure out which integration you want to use. But you could integrate with Aweber, Active Campaign, Constant Contact, Get Re Response, Eye Contact, MailChimp, SendLane, uh, ConvertKit, Drip, MailerLite, Email Octopus. Uh, also, we're adding webinar services. This is the first one we've added so far Demio. Uh, Facebook Pixel, Segmate, uh, which would be for messenger marketing, also Google Tag Manager, and also any third-party analytical services. We're adding more. Um, Demio with the webinar service was the first one, and that's kind of cool because you could actually register people via webinar um, on our landing pages, so they'd be registered for that webinar and they'd get access to the, um, the checklist itself. Okay. This is where you would create those. So I want to point that out. The other thing I want to point out is that there's a WordPress plugin. So uh, it's pretty cool. And I'm going to show you uh, a few different ways you can serve the content uh, content to people. And then you get your help. And then you can log out here. So really easy to use a uh, dashboard. But let's go ahead and just show you how easy it is to make a pre-made checklist. So these are all the premium ones that they can upgrade to. And then these are the 10 free that they get. Okay. Um, so let's just say designing a successful strategy for content marketing. I'm going to click on that one here, and here it is right here. So I can go and see leads. I can view and download them. I can look at the publish options. Let me show you the publish options really quickly. If you want us to host it, we have self-hosting here. You would just copy to the click clipboard. Um, also, if you want to use your own landing page, uh, we will actually give you a snippet of code uh, for a widget, and then you can stick it on your own page or you can download the HTML and host it on your own page, um, or you can use the WordPress um, uh, plugin, or you can embed. This is probably gonna be one of the more popular features, but you can literally embed this either in your blogs or your web pages or your membership sites that allow embedding, so pretty cool. Now I'm gonna show you on the next part here uh, is, let me go ahead and edit just to show you guys what's all involved here. Now these are what the checklists look like uh, when you're editing them. And you can also see what it looks like on um, full screen. You can see what it looks like on tablet. And you can also see what it looks like on your phone. Uh, so as you're editing this, you can even edit this as you're on your phone, but usually you're gonna edit this way. And each one of these goals, each one of these checklists that you fill out, um, you can edit them here, but also there's a little subsetting in here where you can uh, have a better explanation of what's going on here. And you can also add um, video. So if I wanted to add a little video here, I'd click on there and I would add the embed video link. This is the direct link for YouTube or Vimeo. Um, any direct link video you can use here. You can change the names in, uh, in there as well. I'm not going to add anything there just, just for uh, time purposes. But this is where the checklist would be. You could make any edits that you want literally on the fly. So you can just, um, I could click on here where it says um, settings. And here is where I can make these changes on the headline there. And I can make the changes here on the um, sub headline as well. I can make my edits to the opt-in form. And I can also make my edits as far as colors and integrations go. Um, also footer links, okay? So when you're done, you just hit cancel or save, uh, and then you would take it from there. Um, Opt-in form, you can take a look and see what it looks like from here. You can do the edits that you want, again, right here on the opt-in form editor. 
okay? And then your landing page. You can make edits and we actually give, I believe, four different landing page types here, okay? And on these landing pages, you can just choose which one you wanna use. Say I wanna use this one or maybe I wanna use this one or maybe I wanna use this one. Okay, this one I think is a little bit longer so it takes a little bit more to load, uh, but there it is. And then this one's a little bit bigger but could be a good one for a webinar uh, opt-in with checklist. And that'd be like a good checklist that you have people go through as you're going through the webinar uh, as just an idea, okay? And when you're done, you just hit save. I'm just gonna use this one. And I do wanna mention that you can make edits real quickly. So if I wanna change the checklist cover, I can change it here. Uh, if I wanna add text, you know, it's literally right on the fly here. So if I wanna take this checklist and say I wanna copy this, go to the landing page, paste it, boom. Now we've got um, part of the text done. I could go back over to the checklist, do the same thing here for this sub info and kind of just keep going to it and then I can make my changes to um, this button as well. So maybe I wanted to make the button green and there it is. Now it's green, check for your checklist. This is what it's gonna look like, okay? All right, so then I would go through here and I'd wanna make sure that I set up whatever email integrations that I wanna to connect to. Um, I would find my list, I would connect to that and then if I wanted to connect to SegMate, I would do the same thing here. Um, and then also if I wanted to pass information via webhooks, say from um, Zapier, I would fill it out here, okay? Uh, if I had a webinar integration, I'd fill it out here. If I had you know, my Facebook pixel code, I'd fill it out there. All of these other codes there. Um, and then also I could change my footer links um, I could edit these to go to my own personal privacy for my company and terms and conditions, uh, and then I just hit save. Okay, so now that that's done, I can come back over to here and I can take a look at what this is gonna look like. So I can go to publish, copy this, paste it in, and boom, here is my new checklist. Now when I click it, I would just quickly fill it out with an email and boom, there it is, it's done. Now I can add a little video here too if I wanted to. Um, like I was showing you before, this will open up each thing and then each of these objectives have this progress bar telling me how far I've gotten through these as I continue to get through this checklist, which make it fun, make it interactive. Um, and people absolutely love checklists. They're interactive, they keep people coming back. Um, I do also wanna mention that um, if I were to come back to this page, okay? And I wanted to go watch this checklist. Well, I've already opted in. So the system, are, it remembers who I am. So that way I don't have to opt back in or give an email um, because it's already done for you. So that's a quick little demo of the power of this thing. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, let's see if I, there you go. Now I just uh, refreshed and you could see that there is a, one visitor, one lead into that new opt-in, 100% opt-in. So it's giving you, you know, really good uh, stats. Um, but that's all. If you got any questions, please hit me up. Do feel free, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.